Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how Google actually charges you inside of Google Ads and what to expect when it actually comes to your billing and your credit and debit card or whatever actual payment method you're using. And to start off, what are the three ways Google can actually charge you? And first off, you can be charged through a debit or credit card. Uh, you can be charged through monthly invoicing, which is not really used a whole lot. Larger companies can use it, but there are some things you actually have to be eligible for in order to actually be able to uh, use monthly invoicing. I don't see many companies using this. Even large companies tend not to use it, uh, but it is an option out there. And the final option is manual payments, which are available in some countries. Really, Google's trying to get rid of that as much as possible just because uh, it it takes a lot of effort and people generally forget to do it. And it's just not the best way to do it. Either monthly invoicing or debit or credit card. One of those two will uh, generally be how you're going to get charged inside your account. Now, how does the actual charging uh, of the debit and credit card work? And there's two ways. There's the payment threshold and then there's the actual first of the month. So either you hit the first of the month and Google's going to charge you for whatever ad spend you've actually spent in the account. So maybe it's you spent $400 that month and it'll charge you that $400 once it hits the first of the month. The second option is generally the account has a maximum payment threshold of $500. So if you hit you know, $500 two weeks into the account, Google will charge you $500. And then either the next time they charge you will either be the first of the month or if you hit the payment threshold again. So that's the one of two scenarios how Google's actually gonna charge your credit or debit card. And the way you can actually check this is by going into your uh, account and you're gonna come over here to tools and settings. And then it's kind of under my face here, but as you can see summary right here, you're gonna click on that. I'm gonna move my face back. <laughs> And then this is gonna pop up. And as you can see here, uh, how automatic payments work. You'll be charged in one of two ways on the same day of each month and anytime your account reaches a $500 threshold. So again, you're either gonna get charged on the first of the month or when your actual credit or debit card hits $500. If you actually want to change your payment methods, all you have to do is come over here to payment methods, open that up. You can enter in your debit or credit card. You can also add a backup just in case the first one gets compromised or expires or whatever. It's always really nice to have a backup just so your account doesn't go down uh, and Google still realizes you're spending money with them. Uh, it's always just nice to have it as a backup. But I've got a few other videos on actually editing all the payment methods. I'll link it up in the description. But that's how Google charges your account uh, on a regular basis. Either it's on the first day of each month or the actual threshold, which is $500. So that's how Google charges your account. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.